This is the uh, 2020 Solid Mechanics exam, uh, question three, part two, and um, it's a torsion type question about uh, power transmission in shafts. So that's the important thing that we need. Uh, you might just want to screenshot the question and then I'll remind you that in questions about torsion, you probably want to go to the um, uh, data sheet and the torsion of shafts section in the data sheet. Uh, okay, so we're told the it's always worth just drawing the shaft so you know exactly what you're dealing with. The diameter, it's a solid shaft uh, or at least we're not told it's not, so I'm going to assume it is. It's two and a half meters long. It's 30 millimeter diameter, so that's kind of that dimension. Um, and it's rotating at a frequency of 30 hertz. Um, hertz is the number of rotations per second, and I know that we actually uh, tend to want the rotation or the formula in the formula sheet is given either in radians per second or in RPM. If it's 30 times a second um, then it's 30 times 60 times in a minute, 60 seconds in a minute, so multiply this by 60 and that will give us 1800 RPM and that's probably going to be a useful number to have for this. Okay, next up um, we've got power equals 2 pi n t over 60. Um, which equals 2 pi oh well, um Okay, uh, sorry, I was just reading the question, which said, uh, always a good thing to do, and the question says, um, determine the maximum power that the shaft can transmit. So what we need to do is find the maximum torque that the shaft can transmit, and then uh, from torque we'll be able to translate to power, because we know N. So let's also write down the torsion equation, T over J equals tau over R equals G phi over L. And I'll remind you that you can pick any pair here. So you can cover up that and say torsion over um, second moment of area, uh, polar moment of inertia, whatever J is, equals uh, shear stress divided by radius, or you can cover that up and say torsion divided by J is um, shear modulus times twist angle divided by length. So we can have either of those. Um, and in fact we may need to do this. First of all, let's find, let's calculate J. It's given in the formula sheet, it's pi d to the 4 over 32, and that equals uh, 0.03 to the 4 times pi divided by 32. Uh, 7.95 times 10 to the minus 8 meters to the 4. Um, first of all, we are told that the maximum allowable shearing stress is 50 megapascals. That's this tau. So I'm going to say, okay, condition one is that tau uh, can't be greater than, I'm going to set tau equal to 50 megapascals. Therefore, T equals tau J over R equals 50 times 10 to the 6 multiplied by 7.95 times 10 to the minus 8 divided by an R here, the highest value of shear stress. What we're really worried about is that the, the shaft might break if the shear stress gets too high. And the highest value of shear stress will always be at the outside of the shaft. And so we're interested in the radius of the outside of the shaft, which is 0.015 meters. 
uh, I won't write the unit in, that's half of this 0 0.03. That's where that 0 0.015 comes from. So that is um, 50 times 10 to the 6 times 7.95 times 10 to the minus 8 uh, divided by 0 0.015 is 265 Newton meters. Um, so that's one of our conditions. That's the maximum torque if we don't want to have too high a shear stress. Condition two is that um, phi, again, the maximum twist angle is 7.5 degrees. Uh, to convert from degrees to radians, you uh, multiply by... Um, Pi radians is 180 degrees, um, so you multiply by pi and divide by 180. Um, so we've got 7.5 divided by 180 times pi radians. Which is 0 0.131 radians. And that's our maximum twist angle. And just remember that the twist angle in the torsion formula is given in radians. So now we can say T equals G phi J over L, ignoring the middle term in the torsion formula and rearranging for torque. That's what I've just done. So now T equals G is 77.2 times 10 to the 9. Phi is 0 0.131 and J is 7.95 times 10 to the minus 8, all divided by L, which is 2.5. And that comes out to be 3 to. 1.6, uh, I'm going to call it 322 Newton meters. Um, so what we want to know is what's the maximum power and for that we really want to know the maximum torque. The maximum torque is the lower of these two numbers. If we go over 265 we break one condition, if we go over 322 we'll break both conditions as soon as we've broken one, we're against the rules. So this is the, the maximum uh, torque that we're allowed. That can be, sometimes it takes just a bit of thought when you are when you have two conditions to choose which one is, is the one you have to pay attention to. But in this case, it's the lower number of the two. So max torque is 265 Newton meters. And now we can put that into this formula for power. Power is 2 pi nt divided by 60, which equals 2 times pi times 1,800 times 265 divided by 60, which equals... Uh, 49951, I'm going to call that 50,000 watts or 50 kilowatts. Um, and that's the answer. That's the maximum power that can be transmitted uh, by that shaft given those two conditions in the question.